Remember, you can click on that bubble to open a video explaining the work booklet. Um, this will show you all the tasks that you need to complete. Okay, page one just tells us that it's term two, week two. Make sure that you're, if you're not working on the online version, make sure yours is all the week two work. Today we have our check-in Zoom at 9.15 with 23C. We've got English work in the morning time. Nothing, uh, there's no other Zoom in the middle session. We've got a, um, a mathematics session and then creative arts this afternoon. That's it. <laughs> Noisy bird. Okay, so it says for English you need to complete all of your tasks in activity in activity four in your English workbook. Maths, you need to do, play the basketball toss video um, and there's a list of different things you, can, you need to do with that and then also do your Mathletics and Prodigy online tasks. In this afternoon you have Creative Arts. So at English Activity 4, look out your window or your door, what do you see? I want you to describe what you see to, as if you're explaining it to someone who's not there. So it says describe this to an adult what I'd like you to do is maybe you can type it or you can write it up and rather than um, run it, rather than saying it to your mum or your dad, which you can still do, or Nan or whoever's there with you, what I want you to do is type it or write it and then describe it to me. And what I'm going to do, it, or if you're Miss Collie, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try draw what you see. And let's see if what your explanation says helps me to draw what you see. What you need to use is great adjectives, so they're describing words. Words that describe. So the colour of things. You can say blue, green, orange, whatever you see. But also use other adjectives, other more interesting adjectives, to paint a picture in my mind. And that word imagery that is after adjectives there, imagery means the words you use to create a picture. So you can see the word image in there. Image means picture. So have a think of all the different words you can use and all the different maybe even phrases you can use that describe what you see. The sky was as blue as the ocean. Something like that. Okay, try to use a language that helps build a clear picture in our minds. Task B is reading. So remember your fluency, your expression, all of that. And um, I want you to read aloud to yourself. And then tell, tell an adult, tell mum, tell dad, tell whoever you're there with. Tell, get online and tell me on Class Dojo. What was the text, or, uh, text about? Who are the characters in your text? What happened to the characters? Did anything interesting happen? Is it at the complication in the story? We're looking at narratives. So I want you to go find, uh, go read that and then talk about the book. Task C is we're looking at imagery. So we're looking at, like I said before, painting a picture in someone's mind. Up the top here, this is from the story from last week, Stinky Sid, that you read. But if you would like to read the story again, click on that link up the top there where it says click here to open the Stinky Sid story. Down here it says focus on the imagery on St in Stinky Sid. When Sid came into the house, flowers dropped their petals and the paint peeled off the walls. Bert's feathers dropped out and fell in his bird seed. So that paints a really clear picture of what the house and what the room looked like when Sid walked in. What we want you to do is to discuss that and what images it puts into your mind. Do, what feelings does that, do those images provoke? So provoke means what does it make happen to you? So what feelings happen to you when you read about this? Does it make you happy? Does it make you sad? Why does it make you feel that way? Then explain and record the purpose. So why did they say the things this way? I want you to think of why the author might have said things like this. And the impact. So that's again about your feelings. So write why and how it makes you feel. 
Then have a go at writing imagery yourself. Maybe describe an object or a family member or a pet. Okay? Talk about something you see or something you hear. What? Think of all of your feelings that are happening when you're looking at something and then put them into words. And then I want you to share your writing with me. You could even share it to Google Classroom. When I say share it with me, if you're in 23C or 4 Warriors, share it with your teacher. Um, but share, share it to your online thing, uh, online platform, Google Classroom or Class Dojo, um, and see if see what other people have to say. Google Classroom is probably the best for that. So put it up on Google Classroom and get some feedback from the rest of your class. If you see someone else is there, give them some feedback. Think about... Um, how we give feedback we don't want to say this is horrible this is terrible we want to say what we like about it and how they could improve it okay punctuation marks so there are many exclamation marks these over here are exclamation marks just in case you forgot why do they use exclamation marks have a think about it maybe you could look up what exclamation marks do if you don't remember okay what is the purpose of them and why do they use so many? And then I, rather than writing that down, you can if you'd like, but I want you to get up on um, Class Dojo or Google Classroom and I want you to tell, tell me, tell everyone why, why you think there are so many exclamation marks. Okay, remember to read other people's and respond to the ideas. So if someone has said the same thing you're about to say, don't repeat it. Go through and say, I agree, and this is because, okay, add to their ideas. Then check your work, make sure you've completed all four of those activities. Remember that we're online to help. And then reflect on your work. Who was telling the story? Could the story be told by the dog? Who else might tell the story? What, uh, would that change the mood or the feeling? So if the dog was telling the story, would that change how it feels? How, how, if, how you feel when you read it? Okay, have a think about that. All right, then you've got the maths activity, with, which is basketball toss, and I find this one really fun. So if you click on this link, it'll take you to a website that has a video that shows you how to set it up. Then you need a bucket, a basket, or a container, a pair of socks, a pencil, a workbook, and a clear space. And you're going to make a starting line and then you're going to take three big steps forward and put a basket at the end and that's what that video will show you. Then you go back to your starting line and then you're going to play basketball with your socks. You're going to try to throw your socks into the basketball hoop. You're going to do that ten times with your right hand, ten times with your left hand and then we want you to graph your results. That means every time, so at the start do a tally mark. How many times with your left hand? How many times with your right hand do you get the... Um, ball in and then we want you to make a graph so you're going to make a column graph and you would have to draw a straight line down can I draw that with this let's see don't think I can but you can see the outline we kind of see okay so you're going to draw like an L on the page and then you're right left down the bottom and then right and then what you're going to do is draw the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way at the top. You can do it that way, or you can do left and right up here, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, down the bottom. And then what I want you to do is to draw a column. It's hard for me to show you on here, but you're going to draw a column for as many times that you've got that. And what we might do is, during the morning Zoom, we will show you how to do a column graph. All right, I'm just writing that down. And if Miss Collie and myself forget how to do that or Mr. Williams forgets to show you, make sure you ask before we hang up on the Zoom call. But you're going to graph your results and then take a photo of that and upload it on Class Dojo. Then you're going to share it on Class Dojo. You can share it on Google Classroom. And compare. Have a look at what other people have done. Have a look at what your results are. Why do you think your results are like that? Do you think you could change it, something about the game to make your results better? 
okay have a think about all of those different things and that's that's all of your maths today then you've got creative arts and you click there for the booklet and creative arts everyone has the same booklet and it goes step by step but I believe in the booklet today or not I believe I know in the booklet today you're going to be um, looking at a folk song so have a look at that and we'll share more details about the folk song later but here is the booklet and that your booklet is available on class dojo and google classroom so click on the link to the booklet if you need to otherwise it's available for you if you've picked up your pack you got your pack to take home with you and that is it for your monday work pretty simple pretty easy